you can now batch stabilize multiple clips at once, which is gonna be a major time saver. That's what we're gonna be checking out in this video. I will also go over how to use the stabilization tool. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. I am a professional commercial video editor. And in the coming weeks, I'm gonna be releasing a lot more DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if you're into that sort of thing, subscribe to stay in the loop. Now let's hop into Resolve and check this out. Before we pop into Resolve, I just want to say that depending on your footage and how shaky it is, how much movement there is, sometimes using stabilization can really enhance the look of your footage. Other times it can just make it look a lot worse. Just wanted to give you that heads up. Okay, so I'm in the edit page and I have footage with varying degrees of shake and camera movement. First, here's a talking head clip with no movement. I just figured I'd throw it in to see how including it would be affected. Next, a shot of a guy running towards the camera as the camera moves away from him. Next is a handheld clip of flamingos that's kinda jerky, moving left and right. We also have a shot where the camera is moving around a woman jogging in spot. And lastly, a handheld clip of a desert. Let's select all of these clips and making sure you have your inspector tab open, turn on stabilization and hit stabilize. Now, depending on your footage and your computer, Resolve may take a little bit longer to analyze your shots. And we haven't adjusted any of the default stabilization settings because to me, batch stabilizing multiple clips at once is about saving time. So I'm curious to see how the default settings do because obviously you don't wanna put stabilization on a bunch of shaky clips and then have to go in and manually adjust every single one. And on a side note, I'm just curious because I'd love to get to know you more. Do you, are you exclusively a video editor or do you do it all? Are you a videographer or a cinematographer as well? Let me know in the comments below so I can make videos that are more suited to you. Let's first see if throwing my static shot into the mix caused Resolve to warp it at all. I know in the past when I've accidentally stabilized a static shot like this, it did warp things. And okay, that's good. This talking head clip is unaffected. Okay, I am pleasantly surprised that the default settings did such a good job on this running shot. Next. Okay, the flamingo shot isn't doing too well with the default settings. We're gonna have to fix those, hopefully we can, in a sec. Okay, this footage with the camera moving around the jogger did a pretty good job, and I'm pretty happy with it. And this desert shot that had some slightly jarring movement is looking better too. Now let's go back to the flamingo clip for a sec. We'll individually select this clip so that the adjustments will only affect this specific shot. So I'll just go over some of the options that you have. Mode by default is set to perspective, which considers the pan, tilt, rotation, and zoom of a clip, and it tries to stabilize accordingly. Similarity also looks at pan, tilt, rotation, and zoom, but it uses a slightly different algorithm to stabilize. You can give it a try if perspective is making your clip look sort of warped. But usually what I do is just jump right to translation. It considers pan and tilt and has saved my butt a time or two. Zoom by default is checkmarked and I'd leave it checkmarked because when Resolve tries to stabilize your clip, it has to distort the image and zoom in a bit. If we uncheck zoom and stabilize our clip, it will show a black frame around it like this, which you yeah, obviously don't want. If you're trying to make your footage not move at all as if it were shot on a tripod, you could check mark camera lock. I don't tend to check mark this because when I've tested it out, it's warped my footage a lot and seems to need to be zoomed way in like you can see. So yeah, I don't use camera lock. If you want to adjust smoothness or the strength of the stabilization on your clip, you can do so here. So now with translation mode selected, let's click on stabilize again and check this out. Okay, so for this particular clip, translation mode did a better job. Nice. Okay, so stabilizing multiple clips at once 
did a pretty good job. Four out of five clips looked better with just the default stabilization setting. Now, of course, that won't always be the case depending on the batch of footage that you're trying to stabilize, but it is pretty cool to know that this is going to be a really useful and helpful feature. Thanks for checking this video out. If you like the music that you hear or you want to know the gear that we use, or if you want to get your hands on the LUT that we created and we use in our videos, then check the description below. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you in another video.